टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी असाइनमेंट प्रॉब्लम बाय हंगेरियन मेथड पार्ट टू फर्स्ट वी डिफाइन व्हाट इज असाइनमेंट प्रॉब्लम असाइनमेंट प्रॉब्लम डील्स विद एलोगेशन प्रॉब्लम इन विच वी हैव टू असाइन नंबर ऑफ पर्सन टू सेम नंबर ऑफ जॉब विथ एन ऑब्जेक्टिव टू मिनिमाइज कॉस्ट ऑफ असाइनमेंट और मिनिमाइज टाइम ऑफ असाइनमेंट Here we have a problem in which we have five persons and we have five job, and we have a matrix of order five by five. Here, if first person is assigned to first job, then cost is ten. If first person is assigned to second job, then cost is five. If second person B is assigned to first job, then cost is three. So these all are the cost. So how we are going to make an assignment? we use hungarian method to assign this five persons to five jobs in first step is that check matrix is square or not in our example we have five person that is we have five pro and we have five job that is we have five column so number of row and number of column is equal so our matrix is square so we go to the next step in next step what we do we make reduction that is we reduce the matrix first we make row reduction in row reduction what we do we select minimum element from each row that is from first row minimum element is 5 in second row minimum element is 3 in third row minimum element is 2 in fourth row minimum element is 7 in fifth row minimum element is 4 what we do in next we subtract this minimum element from all the element of corresponding row that is in first row minimum element is 5 so we subtract minimum element 5 from all the element of first row that is 10 minus 5 is 5 5 minus 5 is 0 13 minus 5 is 8 15 minus 5 is 10 16 minus 5 is 11 similarly in second row minimum element is 3 so we subtract this minimum element 3 from all the element of second row that is 3 minus 3 is 0 9 minus 3 is 6 18 minus 3 is 15 13 minus 3 is 10 6 minus 3 is 3 in third row minimum element is 2 we subtract this minimum element 2 from all the element of third row that is 10 minus 2 is 8 7 minus 2 is 5 2 minus 2 is 0 in fourth row minimum element is 7 so we subtract 7 from all the element of fourth row that is 7 minus 7 is 0 11 minus 7 is 4 9 minus 7 is 2 7 minus 7 is 0 12 minus 7 is 5 in fifth row minimum element is 4 so we subtract this 4 from all the element of fourth row fifth row sorry fifth row so 7 minus 4 is 3 9 minus 4 is 5 10 minus 4 is 6 4 minus 4 is 0 and 4 uh, 12 minus 4 is 8 so after row reduction we get another matrix in this matrix each row contain at least one zero element now next step what we do we reduce matrix by column reduction in column reduction <coughs> what we do we select minimum element from each column in our example minimum element in column number 1 is 0 in column number 2 is 0 in column number 3 minimum element is 0 in column number 4 minimum element is 0 in column number 5 minimum element is 0 so if we subtract this minimum element 0 from corresponding elements of column respective column so we get same set of element so in our case there is no need for column reduction because each column contain at least one zero already so we write here no need for column reduction 
no need for column reduction now what we do in next step we going to make an assignment in the reduce matrix so we come in the step number third that is we make assignment in the reduce matrix this is our reduce matrix no need for column reduction in that we write this element of matrix as it is here that is in first row we write 5 0 8 10 11 in second row 0 6 15 10 3 in third row 8 5 0 0 0 in fourth row 0 4 2 0 5 in fifth row 3 5 6 0 and 8 now what we do here we are we are going to make an assignment in this reduce matrix how we make assignment it's very simple first we check row from top to bottom that is from row number a to row number e until we get a row in which there is a single zero element and on the single zero element we are going to make an assignment by making a square bracket around that single zero element so in first row there is single zero so we make assignment to this single zero and cross all the zero in the respective column in second column there is no other zero so we uh, go to the step uh, we go to the next row in second row there is single zero so we make assignment to that single zero by making a square bracket around it and cross all the zero in the respective column why we cross zero because each person is assigned to only one job so if b person assigned to first job then first job cannot be assigned to any other person so we cross the zero in third row there are three zero so we are not going to assign we are not going to make assignment here in fourth row there are two zero because row assignment is not completed yet in fifth row there is single zero so we make assignment to the single zero and cross all the zero in the respective column this is our row assignment now we make column assignment how we make column assignment we check column from left to right that is from column number one to column number five in column number one there is assignment in column number two there is assignment in column number three there is single zero so what we do we make assignment to this single zero in column number third and cross all the zero in the respective row that is in the zero in column number four we have already assigned zero in column number five all zero are cancelled so now check all zero are cross or assigned in our case all zero are crossed and assigned and we have number of assignment equals to one two three and four that is we have number of assignment equals to four but here order of matrix is five five is order of matrix so number of assignment four order of matrix is five both are not equal so our solution is not optimal so our solution is not optimal so what we do we improve this solution that is we are going to we are going to next step <clears throat> now in step number four what we do we are going to revise matrix first we write the matrix as it is that is here we are assignment here assignment this is our assignment matrix 
now in revised matrix what we have to do we have to cover all the zero by a straight line so we have to follow certain steps for that first step is mark that row in which there is no assignment in first row there is assignment in second row there is assignment in third row there is assignment in fourth row there is no assignment in fifth row there is assignment so fourth row is that row in which there is no assignment so we mark fourth row this is our first step now what we do in second step we check marked row if any zero element appear in that mark row then we mark the respective column in our problem mark row is 4 in mark row we check any zero element appear so zero element appear in two position in column number 1 and in column number 4 so we mark column 1 and column 4 this is our step 2 now in next what we do we check the mark column here there are two mark column we check mark column if any assign zero element appear in mark column then we mark the respective row in our case uh, in our case column number one and column number four are mark column so in column number one assign zero appear at row number two so we mark the row number two in column number four next mark column column number four we have assigned zero in row number five so we mark the row number five this is our marking now what we do next we cover a straight line yeah, we draw a straight line on unmarked row we draw a straight line on unmarked row and mark column we draw a straight line on unmarked row and mark column so we revise the new matrix now we check all zero element are covered by this straight lines so you can see that all the zero element are covered by a straight line now our next step is that we have to prepare a new cost matrix we have to prepare a new cost matrix how we are going to prepare new cost matrix is very simple First of all, we have to check minimum element from all the uncovered element. In this example, minimum uncovered element is 2. 6, 15, 3, 4, 2, 5, 5, 6, 8. All are uncovered element. Minimum among them are 2. So, minimum element is 2. Now, next, what we do? We add this minimum element at the intersection of 2 straight lines. We add this minimum element 2 at the intersection of 2 straight line. That is, there are 4 positions where straight line are intersecting. That is A1, A4, C1, C4. So, in all that 4 position, what we have to do? We have to draw, we have to add minimum element 2. That is, 5 plus 2, then 4th position, 10th plus 2. In C1 position, 8 plus 2. In C4 position, 0 plus 2. Now, in next step, what we do? We leave covered element as it is. We don't make any change in the covered element. So, our first row is covered. So, leave the remaining covered element as it is. That is 0, 8, 11 in first row third row is covered R right remaining covered element as it is that is 5 0 and 0 column number 1 is covered so write remaining element of column number 1 as it is that is 0 0 and 3 column number 4th is covered so write remaining covered element of column 4 as it is that is 10 0 and 0 now what we do next we subtract this minimum element 2 from all the uncovered element 
here uncovered element are 6 15 3 4 2 5 5 6 8 we subtract minimum element 2 from all these uncovered element that is in second row 6 minus 2 is 4 15 minus 2 is 3 3 minus 2 is 1 now next 4 minus 2 is 2 2 minus 2 is 0 5 minus 2 is 3 in last row uncovered element are 5 6 8 so we subtract minimum element 2 from this uncovered element that is 5 minus 2 is 3 6 minus 2 is 4 8 minus 2 is 6 by doing this we get a new matrix now what we have to do we have to make assignment in this new matrix how we make assignment we check row from top to bottom until a row with exactly single zero element appear in first row there is single zero so we make assignment by making a square bracket around it and cross all the zero in the respective column there is no zero in the respective column so we move forward in second row there is single zero so we mark the single zero and cross all the zero in the respective column in third row there are two zero so we don't make any assignment in third row in fourth row there are more than one zero so we don't make any assignment in fifth row there is a single zero so we make assignment in fifth row and cross zero in the respective column now what we do we make column assignment from left to right in first column there is already an assignment in second column there is assignment in third column there are two zero so we don't go to make any assignment in the third column in fourth column assignment is already done in fifth column there is single zero so we make assignment in that single zero and cross all the zero in the respective row that is zero now now there is single zero remaining so we make assignment to that single zero now we check number of assignment number of assignment in that case in that case is 1 2 3 4 and 5 so number of assignments equals to 5 which is equals to order of matrix which is equals to order of matrix so our solution is optimal now what we do we have to assign we have assigned person a to job number second person b to job number one person c to job number five person d to job number three person e to job number four now we have to write cost we go to our first matrix for cost if person assigned to second job if person assigned to second job then cost is five if person is assigned to second job then cost is five if person B assigned to first job then cost is 3 if person C assigned to fifth job then cost is 2 if person D assigned to third job then cost is 9 if person E assigned to fourth job then cost is 4 by adding all this we get 5 3 8 10 19 and 23 this is our minimum cost this is our minimum cost